there's a tremendous diversity in the models of programs, the relationships to clinics, you know, what people have innovated along the way to make it work. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a testament to, you know, the ingenuity of people in our profession. It's a testament to the passion of people in our profession who are really committed to training uh, on clinical side. It's like planning as a profession. Like, what's our next step forward? The specialties that we have now aren't the only specialties that need to exist for all of time. Mm -hmm. Rural health has its own specific challenges to it. There's an opportunity there to, to continue to develop our landscape. We can focus on quality and we can focus on selecting business models that will work and are sustainable into the future mm -hmm. in light of the debt load that students you know carry with them part of that quality would be how do you train mentors and yeah. where does the funding come for that think of the growth that we could have in residency programs and fellowship programs if we started linking them to our training centers that already exist Let's innovate. Let's continue to really focus on how we grow these things. You're usually, uh, you know, professionally involved. You're exposed to APTA initiatives. You're exposed to, uh, you know, going to conferences and networking. And what does that fabric do to future leaders in the profession? Mm -hmm.